We know three money myths that may be holding you back. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. So before we get started, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also hit the notifications bell so that you know every single time we upload a video. Tip number one, <laughs> parking your money. When we put our money in a savings account or a retirement account, we're leaving our money there sitting. Now, we think it's in a safe place and we're getting some returns on their, those investments, but what's happening is it doesn't make much money for us, but it makes a world of a difference for the institutions that it's stored in. Money has to stay in motion. And what we do when we leave it sitting is we're allowing someone else to take on the banking function that we should be taking control of. Mm -hmm. I'd say tip number two is that retirement accounts are going to make you wealthy. Mm -hmm. I know when I looked at my first 401k uh, estimator that told me by the time I was 59 and a half how much I would be sitting on and I was looking at it in my 20s going, oh, oh yeah, this is about to be pretty. But then I didn't take into consideration <laughs> taxes and inflation. So although my retirement statement said that I would be sitting on maybe $3 million come, what was that, 25 plus years, 30 more years, that $3 million, the value is significantly less. Mm -hmm. So it on paper, it looks good, but in real life, you find more people that are going back to work in their later years because they can't afford to retire because of those two factors. They didn't take into consideration taxes and inflation, and they didn't take into consideration the market because when your retirement accounts are invested in mutual funds and stocks, bonds, whatever the case may be, that's all dependent on the performance of the market and it may not be pretty. Tip number three is we let someone else manage our money. Mm -hmm. Now, they may be the expert, but what we do is we give up control and say they are better at managing our money than we are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what they do is tell us to invest in retirement accounts or savings stocks. accounts <laughs> or stocks or, or stocks mm -hmm. which it, it is a good it could be a good idea depending on your circumstance but for the most part we spend money every single day mm -hmm. and we put money into the bank and we take money out of the bank so if we're the ones making the money we should be the ones that's controlling our own money when they tell us to do something, we should do the due diligence and research to make sure we understand where every penny is going and what it is doing. Mm -hmm. And I, I agree with that. I think at some point along my career, I was like, oh, I'm gonna let somebody else deal with it because I don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. But exactly to Darius's point is if I'm the one working, I need to be able to understand what's happening with my money. Right. And it's really just about educating yourself because it's your money. Nobody mm -hmm. else is going to take more care over your money than yourself right. when it comes down to it, right? So, um, and not that we're, we're saying anything is wrong with dealing with a financial advisor, but also understand what's happening. What is happening with your money? What is that financial planner doing with your money? Being able to articulate exactly what's going on and using this amazing world of the internet and YouTube and research what's going on. We have so many people that come to us and have uh, not educated themselves when it comes to their finances mm -hmm. and they just give their money away and they say, okay, go manage it. And we don't work that way. Mm -hmm. So it, every step of the way, you're going to know what's happening and we're gonna put a whole bunch of education on your plate so that you are up to speed of what's going on. Yeah, what usually happens is they let somebody else manage their money and then when they go to retire, they don't have enough money to remain retired. Because I know that's, the, the reason why we're talking so much about this is because we had personal experience with it. We haven't retired, but we do have uh, family members who uh, retired and had to go back because they weren't in control of their funds. They didn't know what their funds were doing. Yeah, and I know, um, for example, my mom, she, was, she has her money invested in the stock market. She's lost a ton of money, wasn't aware of the losses, mm -hmm. and also had her money in different insurance products that also were not providing good returns. And she placed all of that trust into someone else without doing the research. Mm -hmm. So again, make sure that you understand what your money is doing, what products it's in, and the pros and cons of those products. Right. So that you're not blindsided. 100% agree. Yeah. All right, so let's recap. The three money myths that could be holding you back are? Myth number one, don't park your money. Always keep your money in motion. 
The second myth is that retirement accounts are gonna make you wealthy, and that's just not the case. Myth number three is don't allow someone else to manage your money and you have no clue what's going on. Totally agree. <laughs> Please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at WealthNation.io. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.